Hello, uh, this is a video to show you how to connect a um, camera gimbal system to the ArduPilot SITL simulator. And this allows you to test a camera and gimbal in a simulated aircraft, which is very useful for testing the functionality, learning how to use your camera and gimbal, but also very useful to be for developing new features for the camera and gimbal. So what I have here is a CEZT30. Uh, so this ZT30 is a, um, uh, a four-component um, four system, so it's got uh, three lenses, so it's got uh, two RGB lenses you can see here, if I wave my hand in front there, so one zoom lens and one wide-angle lens, and then it's got a thermal camera here, which I'm displaying up the top there. And uh, so I've got all three of those uh, coming out once over Ethernet to my computer. And uh, I've also got here a USB serial adapter. Um, and any sort of USB serial adapter would do. This is a, a CH41 type adapter, which is a nice little adapter. And it's got a cable here with the ground, receive and transmit which I have got connected into the appropriate port on the top of this CEZT30. So I'm now just going to plug this adapter into my computer so that I get serial going into uh, my Windows computer. And what I'm going to do now is start the ArduPilot simulator. So I have Mission Planner running here and I'm going to go to the Simulation tab. And there's a couple of things I need to do. So first of all, I'm going to choose that I'm going to simulate a quad plane. Um, I work on quad planes. You can, of course, simulate a multi-rotor or a helicopter or any other type of vehicle. Um, submarines, probably not so useful for this type of uh, camera. But um, anyway, lots of different vehicle types. Now, the most important thing is this next part. And you need to specify in this extra command line here, um, you need to tell the simulator uh, where to go to that serial adapter, the USB serial adapter, in order to um, to connect to it, to be able to talk to the CE, so the simulator can talk to the CE. And to do that, we're going to need to open up Device Manager here. And if we look under Device Manager, we see this USB serial port is COM41. You need to note down that number because you need that when we tell SITL to connect to it. All right. So what we're going to do, and the number we need to put in is actually going to be one less than that. It's a little bit strange. So um, what we're going to do is put in minus minus serial two equals UART colon slash dev slash TTY S40. Because remember, this, this was number 41. And so we have to put in number 41. 40. So it might be a little bit hard to read in the video that says minus minus serial two equals UART colon forward slash DEV forward slash TTY S40. And that connects to COM port 41 and it connects the serial two um, system in SITL. So that's telemetry two in the simulator. Okay, so I'm going to now uh, start that up. So I click on the plane to start the simulator and I'm going to use the latest development version of the simulator. So it's going to download that simulator from the ArduPilot website. I'm using the latest development version because there's been some new features added by Randy McKay recently, uh, which I want to test. All right, you'll notice that um, it actually started controlling the camera. That's because I've already got the parameters set up. What I'm going to do you now is show you all the parameters you need to set to make this work. And so there are three parameters. You have to go into the config screen, the full parameter list, and there are three parameters you need to set. The first is the serial to protocol that we, we told on that command line when we started simulator, we said minus minus serial two. And that means we've attached that USB serial adapter to serial two. So we now set serial two protocol to eight, uh, which is the gimbal. Uh, we're controlling a gimbal using this serial protocol. So we need to write that, right? Now what we need to do is set the uh, mint one type. 
and that has to be eight because this is a CE gimbal. And this system that I'm showing you works fine for other uh, manufacturers' gimbals as well. You could use this with any of the serial connected uh, cameras and gimbals. You can even do this with CAN bus connected cameras and gimbals as well. Uh, there's a different, slightly different methodology, but you can connect them in uh, the simulator as well. So I'm setting the Mint 1 type to 8, uh, which is CE. And then I need to set CAM 1 type and set that to 4, which is for mount CE. So they're the three parameters, the Serial 2 protocol. Um, you also should set the Serial 2 board rate. And this particular camera operates at a board rate of 115 kiloboard. So 115, 200 or just 115 there will, will do the job. All right, they're all the parameters you need to set. And if you've got those correctly and you restart the simulator, so they're all now set correctly. So I'm going to now disconnect and I'm going to start the simulator, but I'm going to click this little skip download button. That stops it downloading the simulator each time, which makes it faster to start up. And we've still need this minus minus serial to equals UART colon dev TTYS 40. And then we're going to click on this button here and it'll start the simulator. All right, then we'll test it. So this is going to connect in. Now it's got the parameters. Great. And it's sitting at our favorite flying field here in Canberra. Okay, so let's now test that we have control of the camera. So I'm going to click on the little payload control here. If you don't have payload control, then you need to enable it. You right click in, you customize and enable take payload control. I've turned off some of the other ones for simplicity here. And so in payload control, I'm going to try panning the camera. And you can see there that as I pan it, there's a bit of lag. There's a bit of video lag with the video player I'm using. Um, but you can see that as I pan it here, I am controlling the camera. So already we can see that the ArduPilot C driver is working. I can also control the tilt. And so I can tilt it down like that and tilt it up and it is working. And of course I can go through all of the usual um, controls for taking photos and zooming, uh, start recording, etc. And all of those are documented in the ArduPilot wiki. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a flight plan because most of that you could have done with just a flight controller sitting on your desk. The next part is what is special about having this in SITL. Because so I can load a flight plan and I can now put this aircraft into auto mode and start it flying. And so it's now going to arm and take off. So my little mission here is just got a, uh, a vertical takeoff followed by some waypoints and then a do jump so it loops around forever. All right. So what it's going to do here is going to fly over to this location and it start flying. Now, what we can do is I can now tell the camera to point at a particular location to check that that functionality works. So I'm going to tell it to point at the center of the field here. And you'll notice that immediately the camera points around and now it's going to start tracking that location. You can see that it's doing tracking here where now, of course, it's not seeing the actual flying field because the camera is sitting on my desk and you're seeing my very messy desk here. Um, I'm notorious for a messy desk and there's my hand. Uh, so it's now tracking that location. Now, one of the more useful things to do is to put the vehicle into a fixed wing loiter. So what I'm going to do is tell it to fly to that location at 60 meters. And so the aircraft is now going to fly over to here. And I'm going to tell the camera to point at the center of that circle, right? So what it will do is it'll maintain pointing at the center of that circle and as it turns around, which should mean that the camera points in a roughly fixed orientation to the right of the aircraft. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's pointing 90 degrees to the right of the orientation of the camera mount, which means it's just seeing this, you know, mouse and things that are dirty desk from with coffee stains. Um, but if I tell it to point somewhere else, like over here, then um, it will then 
fly over to this, it will then start pointing at a different location and move around. All right, so that hopefully is enough to get you going to understand how to connect SITL. You can connect the ArduPilot simulator to many different types of serial and CAN devices. And it's a very good way of testing the functionality and ensuring that everything's working. And this particular example, we also have Ethernet connected with video streaming, is a great way to see the functionality that's being developed in controlling cameras and gimbals in ArduPilot. So happy flying and enjoy using your uh, gimbals in SITL.